In recent years, Boeing, once considered the gold standard in aerospace engineering, has faced a relentless series of setbacks that have shaken its reputation to the core. From technical glitches to high-profile delays, the company has struggled to maintain its image as a leader in spaceflight innovation. But among all these challenges, one incident stands out as the most devastating blow to Boeing's ambitions in space, the Starliner disaster. The Starliner program was meant to be Boeing's triumphant entry into the new era of commercial crewed spaceflight. Instead, it became a symbol of costly errors and missed opportunities. The failed test flights, software malfunctions, and hardware issues not only embarrassed the company, but also put the safety of astronauts at risk, leading to intense scrutiny from both NASA and the public. NASA had placed its trust in a handful of companies to carry its astronauts safely to the International Space Station, and Boeing was supposed to be the safe, reliable choice. With its long history of building rockets, capsules, and dependable space hardware, Boeing seemed like a natural fit for the job. For decades, Boeing engineers and technicians had been at the forefront of American space exploration, contributing to everything from the Apollo missions to the space shuttle program. Their expertise was unmatched, and their reputation for quality was second to none. That's why the Starliner's repeated failures came as such a shock to the industry. After months of exhaustive internal reviews, technical investigations, and some very difficult conversations behind closed doors, NASA made a decision that would have been unthinkable just a few years ago. The agency has now officially cancelled all upcoming crewed Starliner missions, marking a dramatic turning point for Boeing and raising serious questions about the future of its role in human spaceflight. Today, we'll break down why NASA made this decision and what this means for Boeing financially. The Starliner program was troubled from the very beginning. Even before the first test flight, the project was plagued by technical challenges, shifting deadlines, and mounting pressure to deliver results. Engineers faced unexpected issues with software, hardware integration, and even the spacecraft's parachute system, all of which contributed to a growing sense of uncertainty about the program's future. Back in 2014, when NASA selected two companies for the commercial crew program, Boeing received $4.2 billion, while SpaceX received $2.6 billion. This significant investment reflected NASA's confidence in Boeing's experience and reputation as a trusted aerospace contractor. The commercial crew program was designed to restore America's ability to launch astronauts from U.S. soil and both companies were tasked with developing safe, reliable spacecraft. NASA gave Boeing more money because of their long history and assumed they would deliver faster and safer. Boeing's decades of collaboration with NASA, including work on the Space Shuttle and International Space Station, made them seem like the obvious choice to lead the way. Many believed that Boeing's established processes and resources would ensure a smooth path to crewed spaceflight. Everyone expected Boeing to finish first. Industry analysts, NASA officials and the public all anticipated that Starliner would beat SpaceX's Crew Dragon to the launch pad. But as the years went by, delays and setbacks began to pile up casting doubt on whether Boeing could meet the high expectations set at the program's outset. But instead, Starliner became the program with the most delays, the most redesigns, and the most failures. The problems began long before the first mission. The capsule fell behind schedule repeatedly. It was supposed to fly astronauts years earlier, but Boeing kept missing deadlines and requesting extensions. 
After years of anticipation and countless hours of preparation, Boeing's Starliner spacecraft finally roared to life on the launch pad in December 2019. The world watched as the rocket soared into the night sky, marking a major milestone for NASA's commercial crew program. But almost immediately after liftoff, it became clear that something was terribly wrong. The mission, which was supposed to demonstrate Starliner's ability to safely reach the International Space Station, was about to become a cautionary tale in aerospace history. Deep inside the spacecraft software, a critical bug had gone undetected. The internal mission timer, which was supposed to synchronize every maneuver and system check, was set incorrectly, off by a staggering 11 hours. This seemingly small error had massive consequences, throwing the entire mission sequence into chaos. As a result, Starliner's thrusters began firing at the wrong times, wasting precious fuel and sending the spacecraft off its intended course. The crew on the ground watched in disbelief as the automated systems struggled to compensate, but the damage was already done. Instead of approaching the International Space Station as planned, Starliner drifted helplessly past its target. The fuel reserves, meant to last the entire mission, were depleted far too quickly. The opportunity to dock with the ISS was lost, and the mission had to be cut short. In the aftermath, NASA and Boeing engineers launched a thorough investigation. What they found was alarming. More than 80 separate software issues were lurking within the system, each one a potential risk to the spacecraft and its crew. The scale of the oversight shocked even the most experienced engineers. Had these flaws not been discovered and addressed, the consequences could have been catastrophic. The Starliner capsule, carrying valuable hardware, and potentially astronauts in the future, might have been lost in space or destroyed entirely. This first launch disaster became a wake-up call for the entire industry, highlighting the critical importance of rigorous software testing in modern spaceflight. NASA forced Boeing to redo the entire test flight at Boeing's expense. So, the second uncrewed mission also hit trouble. In 2021, engineers actually found 13 valves stuck shut, all because of internal corrosion. The service module had to be removed, rebuilt and reinstalled, which honestly meant a delay of many months. And even when the second mission finally reached the ISS in 2022, Several thrusters failed again. But, you know, the real breaking point came in June 2024. Boeing finally launched astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams on the crucial crew test mission. This was supposed to prove Starliner was finally ready. Instead, the thrusters failed again. Several reaction control thrusters overheated and shut down as the capsule approached the International Space Station. The astronauts, well, they barely made it. Once docked, NASA refused to let Starliner bring them home because, honestly, the spacecraft was simply too unsafe. SpaceX had to rescue them. A Crew Dragon launched in September 2024 with two empty seats, brought Wilmore and Williams home, and, you know, really exposed just how unreliable Starliner still was. NASA and Boeing later learned that tiny Teflon seals inside the thruster valves were overheating and degrading. Engineers replicated the same failure on Earth, which, well, proved the issue was fundamental, a built-in design flaw. And then came the financial shock. 
SpaceX ended up charging NASA about $55 million per astronaut seat, while Boeing's cost soared to $90 to $100 million per seat, around 70% more expensive. If NASA relied on Boeing for 10 crewed missions a year, it would have cost $1.5 billion more annually compared to using SpaceX. This was no longer sustainable. So NASA officially cancelled all crewed Starliner flights. The next mission, Starliner 1, will, uh, fly without astronauts. NASA isn't panicking because, well, SpaceX is currently carrying the entire United States human spaceflight program with phenomenal success. Crew Dragon has flown 11 successful NASA missions, plus private missions, all without a major in-flight failure. But, you know, SpaceX won't be alone for long. Sierra Space is preparing the Dream Chaser, a mini space plane that launches vertically and lands on a runway like an aircraft. It will first carry cargo to the International Space Station, and later a crewed version will deliver astronauts. Its low-G re-entry and runway landing make it a pretty smooth alternative to capsules. Boeing was supposed to be America's dependable partner. Instead, Starliner became one of the biggest aerospace failures in NASA history. And now the future of United States astronaut flight belongs to SpaceX, with Dream Chaser rising right behind it.